still doing this. Yeah. I would have thought you'd get out of it by now. I've been doing this all my life. I know, but still. Somebody has to. I figure I'm all right at it. You're the best in town. Not much competition. So now... Somebody new? That apprentice of yours? No, you. I'm not interested, Dad. Why not? I've grown out of it. You're between jobs. Why not do this for a little bit? This isn't what I want to do. What do you want to do? I don't know. Something with an office. You can have an office. That's not what I meant. You're just too good for it. You know that's not true, Dad. It's an honest income. People buy these signs. I've got other plans. I can't just abandon them to paint a couple signs and fix some leaky pipes. What plans? I want to start something. That's the same thing you have since the third grade. That's how you know it's a good one. What do you want to start? <coughs> Business. Of course. I just have to find a market that isn't swamped. That can be hard in the city. I know. Jim's retiring? I don't believe that for a second. He's close that old breakfast from you loved. When? Last month. Damn, I wanted to go back there one of these days. The building's empty now? He's looking to rent it out. I don't know. But why not start a restaurant? I don't know how to cook. Your mother taught me how to cook. It doesn't have to be a restaurant. You can stay here until something else opens no, up. No, I've got engagements in the city. No, you don't. I can't move back here. You already have. I'm too busy right now. Bobby! I'd love to move back here when I'm ready to settle. Maybe retire here. I'm dead. That's not what I meant, Dad. I know what you meant, Bobby. You know, you're the only person that calls me Bobby. That's not true. I mean, Megan calls me Bobby. I no, Liz that calls you Bobby. Dad, don't do this. She's the one that started calling you Bobby. It's been a week. She always has called you Bobby. Do you need to talk about this? I'm fine. Mom's funeral was a week ago. Don't you think I know that? Not by the way you talk about her. You talk about her like she's still alive. And you talk about plans like you have any. Just worried about you, that's all. Don't worry about yourself, son. Your old man's taking care of himself for this long. I'll start looking into Jim's old place. Maybe it's a good idea. Thank you. I can't make any promises, but I can lend you some of the money. Thanks. Any time. Is that your new kid? He's not my new kid. Does his mom pay you for the babysitting, or is this community service? He comes over and I pay him. He's my apprentice. <laughs> He's a kid. I'm on my way, James. Hey, Dad. I know it's been a while. Eleven years. <laughs> that long already? Yep. It's great to see you, too. It could have been another decade, at least. Girl can't surprise your dad with a visit? She could have a week ago. Not today. Hi, Megan. Hey, Bobby. So we miss you. Well, you did a hell of a job. How long are you here for? I don't know. How long is Bobby here for? Bobby doesn't, doesn't know either. He's been here a little over a week. I'll just make sure he overstays his welcome first. Wouldn't want to give you another reason to hate me. That's petty. I know that's why I'm doing it. Melinda sold, turned her room to storage. Sold everything in it. I know. I read the letters. Didn't think you would. I did. I just never responded. Do you still have the guest bedroom? Yep. Should have turned that one into storage. We still expected to see guests. I can stay there. It isn't made up yet. Well, neither am I. You two are related. Stay out of this copy. Just give her the guest. She can stay at the motel or leave. She's your daughter. I can't stay at the motel or leave. Why not? Money? Your husband didn't give you any allowance this week? No. Here. I don't want your money. What do you want? Just a roof to stay under. Plenty of people have roofs. No, all of them have you. Dad. I've stayed under a lot of roofs these past couple of months. She needs a place to stay. There are plenty of other places. Not any less. She came here. I can see that. Just let her have the guest room. Why does she want to stay here so bad? Secret. Everything's a secret with you. Well, maybe if you let me stick around, get around to telling you a few of those secrets. The last time you told a secret, you broke me and Melinda's hearts. Just wait until this time. I'll go get the guest room ready. No. God damn it, Dad! I'll do it. I 
missed you. You're all right, too. Thanks. Why are you here? A secret! The same secret as last time? Yes. I thought you said that wasn't going to happen again. Turns out I'm a liar. God damn it. It's the last time. It better be. It's over. I left. Came here. Enough about my shitty life. Let's hear about yours. I'm between jobs, friends, and places to live. Bet you never thought you'd end up here again. I come back for the holidays. Did they ever talk about me? They threw out that old chair you used to use at family meetings. <laughs> nice to say I left an impact. <laughs> I've never heard them say your name after you got married. How long are you here for? For as little as I can. Sit around for me, okay? I don't know what we'll do to each other if we're left alone. He's not taking it well. Me being back? Mom. I wouldn't either if I were in this position. Why didn't you come sooner? I've been spread out. News didn't reach me until I got to town. It was convenient. Don't say that. Gave us both an excuse to hide out here. But it was Mom. In the end, I don't think she remembered my name. That's not true. I bet they live their lives like... I didn't exist besides the letters. I'm glad she's not here. I don't think I could face both of them. Don't talk like that. It was her that drove the wedge between me and Dad. And you, know you that. helped. It was my life. And theirs too. Not at that point. Was Mom right about you and Tom? It's more complicated than that. Is it? And I didn't come here to discuss it. Can't hide from our problems if we keep bringing them up. You'll have to face them eventually. You too. <laughs> I've lived with Dad for a week. I've been facing my problems head on. I'm already walking that path. Me too. You missed a couple of signs. Yeah, well, I'm working on it. Well, I'm just trying to help. Everyone knows what a help you are. I'm sorry. That came up sharper than I meant it to be. It's fine. I've had worse. Bad week? Only when he's home. Does he leave the house often? He does not. Mm. The room's ready. It's dusty. I wouldn't have it any other way. Your any bags packed? Just the one. That's not a lot. Trust me, I know. Well, you better go get settled. I'm working on something in here. Still painting the signs? Yep. He has an apprentice. He's trying to replace us already? You know, the kid's just a little brat. He comes over after school and helps me. I pay him. Someone will have to paint the signs once you're gone. If there are any signs left to paint. He doesn't paint yet. He's not ready. He helps with the handyman work. He's not old enough to drive. Not yet. Why not have Bobby help out? Bobby wants something to do with this town. I got that from him. Into our small speaking terms? We kept in contact. You know, you never told me, Bobby. I didn't think you'd want to hear. The kid will be over soon. Be nice to him. Am I ever anything less? Yup. He's a good kid. I don't want you getting to him. Christ, Dad. Every day since she left for school, that girl has made it her mission to torment their mother. And she didn't have the decency to show up to her funeral. I don't know why you give her the time of day. I'll go get settled in. I'll be in the guest room if anyone needs me. But what are the chances of that? You know, it's only been 11 years since the last time we talked, Dad. What's one more night? I'm looking forward to it. That was a little too much. I wasn't going to lie. And you called her pet. She has to get it from somewhere. It was a wedding 11 years ago. Are you really going to hold that against her? I broke your mother's heart. And what about yours? You better talk to her tonight. We'll see what happens. You don't know why she missed the funeral. Do I need to? She's your daughter. Bobby, what Maggie did drove your mother to her bad health. Mom died of breast cancer. What on my stress? It was genetic. No, it was the stress that that girl caused your mother. If stress killed, then I'd be dead too. You always get to walk away. Your mother did it. That's not true. It is from where I'm sitting. Can we not talk about this right now? You always get to walk away. Not now, Dad. You might as well be now. Your new kid is going to be here soon, and I'm sure you don't want him to see you like this. What do you mean? So petty. Are you jealous? No. You were my apprentice once. Yeah, in high school. It was fun. Yeah. 
Why not take it up again? I don't know how long I'm here for. You don't have to keep her want to help out. Maybe. You'll have to. Or I'll start charging rent. No, you won't. Sign me. I'm broke. Then get a job or work for me. Do something with your life. I am doing something with my life. I'm between steps right now. I'm just trying to help. I know. And if I have to kick your ass, I'm going to kick your ass. You're not staying here much longer. You've said that every day since you've been here. I just want to make sure you're okay before I leave. You picked a hell of a time to start caring for your old man. I know you're not <laughs> taking this well. Taking what well? Mom. What about her? She went to the hospital a month ago and you were stuck here. I know. I don't think you should be alone right now. And you're better than that. Dad. How can we never come home outside of the holidays? I'm busy. Looking for the next job. Sometimes. And sometimes losing the one you already have. That's enough, Dad. You're right. Dad, your hand. You're funny. Your hand is shaking. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you okay? I'm fine. Your hands have been shaking. When? The whole time I've been here. I don't remember that. Dad, don't do this. Do what? This! Your hand is shaking! I'm not sure what you're talking about. Is this why you found an apprentice? James found me. And you took him on. When was the last time you had an apprentice? You. Why you take James on? Because somebody has to take over for me when I'm gone, and it sure as hell isn't going to be you. Does he want to? Yes. He's almost at the age where he'll go off to college. He won't. His mom says he will. I tell her it usually doesn't work out. Do you want him to paint the signs? Not yet. Why not? He's not ready. They're signs? Sure. Why not have him paint one? He's not ready. How much skill does it take? Just outline the sign and have him fill it in. Are you a part of this? I was. Yeah, but not anymore. You won't be here around long enough. You're walking away. Are you going to let him paint the signs when you're gone, or are you taking that with you to the grave? He'll paint the signs when he's ready. Unless you decide to stick around. We've been over this. I just wish you'd give me a straight answer! It's a no! Do you have any other plan? I've been sending emails. There are plenty of places in town. I'm not interested. You have to start somewhere. I have. What time is it? Why? Are you going to drive me to every shop in town and see if they have an opening? I'm wondering if James is coming over. Doesn't he always? Unless he's in detention. What a reliable employee. I wouldn't talk if I were you. Can you please back off? This isn't easy for me. Who's cooking tonight? Do we have anything? You did the shopping. I order pizza. Is Megan still silly pizza? Yeah. Is she still a vegetarian? No, she gave that up a while back. Make it easier. How long has it been since you two talked? The invitation. That long ago? The last time I heard from her was the wedding invitation. You didn't send letters? I didn't. They had your signature on them. I signed them, I didn't write them. Did you read them? I don't remember. Did you read them? Yes. Those were terrible things to send your daughter. She wasn't our daughter then. What about now? Let's see what kind of pizza she wants.
<laughs> we start making an effort. So, how's everyone been? Fine. <laughs> it's been over 11 years since we talked, and you're fine? Yep. Life usually has more ups and downs than that. Not this one. 11 years of being fine. Yep. That sounds boring. Yep. Don't come back and boring Don't talk with your mouth full. I don't know what I'm talking at all. No new stories. Paint any new signs? <clears throat> you can find them. Who's the big family this year? Same as last. Can you remind me who that is? Jim. Jim Reynolds is still around? Yep. I hear he's selling that old breakfast joint. Dad wants me to rent the space. Are you going to? Trying to keep my options open. Smart. I like to think so. How are things with Thomas and Megan? Surprised you remembered his name. Did you lose your ring? It's in safekeeping. How are you doing, Bobby? Same as always. Broke. Lonely. Between jobs. All that and more. How are the college loans to you? I was on a scholarship. Need-based? Don't make it sound like you're the brains of this family. And you are? I don't think so. Melinda is the brains. So, Dad, did you hear the football team is going to state this year? You never care for the football team. I remember going to the games and seeing Bobby warm in the bench. I got to play sometimes. Melinda was the Right. Mom was the football fan. I didn't like the coach. Nobody likes the coach. He wasn't tough enough. I don't know. He was pretty rough on us. Not rough enough. Did you guys win any games? The other teams were better, so what? How many games did you win? We won one. I guess the middle school. <laughs> Not many counted. He's still the coach. He's still there and they're going to state this year. Must have been the players then. They had fun though, didn't they? Yeah, a little. And free Gatorade. <laughs> You're right. It's the fun that counts. Those kids wouldn't go on and play sports. I did. Dinner must be really fun with you two living together. What sport did you play? Forget I said anything. Track? No. Swim? No. You didn't go back to football? I did not. What sport then? I was on the dance team. <laughs> <laughs> You never told me you did dance. No, I can't believe I forgot. No, I think I remember my own son going to college for dance. I didn't go to college for dance. Bobby, you're turning red. I think he is. Shut up. And you're on her side now? I want to hear more about this dance team. What kind of dance? No, it's not a big deal. I'd like to see what you learned when we have some free time. No. How long were you a cheerleader for? I wasn't a cheerleader. I was on a dance team. No pom-poms for you. It was only for a semester. <laughs> what? What does any young man do anything for? How'd that work out? She introduced me to her boyfriend after the first competition. Rough. And then you quit. I stuck with it for a while. It was fun. But you quit when you couldn't get the girl. I was kicked off the team that semester because I wasn't any good. Was this the first time you were fired from something? I wasn't fired. It wasn't a job. If it wasn't a job, why'd you stick with it? It was having fun. They fired you. I was kicked off the team. What's the difference? It's for the meal, guys. I there really isn't a difference. I didn't have any reason to stay in You make excuses. You make excuses and then you walk away. Are we getting into this right now? It has to happen eventually. Not now, Dad. Shit. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Uh, grab them towels and the rest Grab them yourself. Why did you knock your class over? It was an accident. I wasn't done talking to him. He'll be back. Did you do it on purpose? No. I don't believe you. I didn't expect you to. Thanks for dinner. Thank Bobby. I have nothing to do with it. You paid for it. Bobby can't, you can't, I had to. You didn't have to. I did. Well. Thanks either way. And thanks for letting me stay. Thank Bobby. I know you don't want anything to do with me. I don't. I know how much you hate that I'm here. I haven't kept it a secret. 
It means a lot to me that you cleaned the guest room so that I could stay there. It better. Please just let me get this out. It isn't easy for me, and I know it isn't easy for you, but I have to say it. I know that you've hated me since I told you I was getting married, but now I left him. You're getting a divorce. Eventually. But not yet. I left, and I haven't looked back. Does he know? He better have guessed by now he stopped trying to call me. You're so married. That's what the paperwork says. Then you're so married. It's over. You can stop hating me now. You're staying my pants. It was an accident. You're my favorite pair. I'm sorry. It wasn't an accident. What? I saw her knock her glass over. It was an accident. It wasn't. Why did you do that, Megan? I didn't. Tell the truth. I am. You haven't told the truth in 11 years. I haven't told you anything in 11 years. Tell the truth. Fine. Fine. I knocked over the glass on purpose because you're a shitty father and a shitty person, and I knew if I knocked something out of Bobby's lap, he'd probably get up and leave the room, and I could get him out of this shitty conversation. It's tough love. He's tough enough on himself. I can stand up for myself, Megan. Then do it. <clears throat> and I wanted him out of the room so that I could talk to you. Bobby doesn't know. He does. I told him first. So that's another secret you kept from me. Dad. Uh, what got you to finally tell me one of your secrets? I don't want you to hate any of me anymore. That's the whole reason I'm here. Then you can go. I can't. Why not? There's nowhere else to go. And what about Bobby? It's the same for me. I'm your last resort. Fine. If that's what you want to believe, you are my last resort. Dad, we care about you. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. I wouldn't be here. I don't believe it. You're both here so that this hay man can fix your lives and then you leave. I bet you didn't leave your husband a note. You didn't leave anything for me or Melinda. I didn't. I bet he appreciated that. I wouldn't know. Is it really over this time? Yes. Damn it. And apparently, Dad likes me telling secrets even less than he likes me keeping them. Megan. Thomas offered me an interview. It just got confirmed while I was out of the room. I see. I thought this was going to be like last time. It's not. I'm going to take it. I see. I told him you were here. I don't want to see him again. I know. Is he coming here? I don't know yet. I love you, Bobby. But if you take this job, it's going to be a long time before we talk again. Please, Megan. It's your life, Bobby. You better take that interview. I have to. When is it? Haven't said a date yet. Where? Don't know yet. Could it be here? It could. You'll need a new suit. Where the hell am I going to get a new suit? What kind of job is it? Sales. Have you worked sales before? I haven't. Where would you be based? It's over the phone. Anywhere. I hope the interview goes well, son. Thanks, son. Good night. I don't need your help. You've always needed my help. Name once. Every 
every math class in high school, every essay when applying to college, your resume for your first real-world job, every time you have to put an outfit together for an interview, and now I'm dealing with Dad. I can deal with Dad. You don't have to take his bullshit. His wife just died and I can bear with him a little bit. It's not an excuse to treat you like shit. It might not be, but he's not wrong. Don't sell yourself short. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I sell myself too far and then I show up to all these jobs and I'm a disappointment and it's cheaper to train a new guy than to keep me around. Don't do this to yourself. Maybe that's why all my friends left me in the dust. Okay, I'm just not as cool to be around as I make myself out to. Bobby. At least I know my landlord's opinion of me. She thought I was a shitbag and threw me out. Well, I can't blame your landlord. You have to be softer on yourself, Bobby. Why? Because you're not that bad. Not that bad? Haven't held a job for more than two years out of college and I'm not that bad. You're not. Then why the hell am I still back here? Because you don't want Dad to be alone? Yeah. You can try and hide it, but I see it on your face. You care about him. Yeah, I do. It's shitty what happens to Mom. He's in a rough place. We all are. Some of us are. You can't honestly say that you don't miss Mom. I can't. I went through the same shit you did. I doubt that. Why are you here? I told you there's nowhere else to go. Not a single other place? I stayed on all of my friends' couches. Even the ones I haven't talked to since I dropped out of school and ran away with Tom. And now you're here. Now I'm here. You really want Dad back? Yeah. And you didn't just come back because you knew Mom was gone? No, I didn't know. I thought, it's been over a decade, I should swallow my pride and make some amends. And how's that working out for you? Well, I came to the workshop to mess around with some of Dad's stuff, but all of the doors are locked. He didn't used to lock them. He's changed a lot since you left. I noticed. He doesn't talk much anymore. He loves you. He doesn't feel like it. I didn't say he was any good at showing it. Here you there. What was it like living alone with him? It's been hell. Every day gets a little bit better, but it's been hell. Don't you want to get back at him? For being our dad? For being an ass. No. It'll be fun, like, like we used to bring him back when we were kids. You no, know, he was a different person back then. Maybe we could bring back that guy he used to be. With mom gone, I doubt it. Why not try? What are you even going to do to him? I haven't decided yet. Well, count me out of it. I have to deal with enough of him already. At least he still likes you. He's letting you stay here. Yeah, in the guest room, because he turned mine into storage. It's better than nothing. Yeah, well, you saw dinner last night. Why can't you just be quiet and let things run their course? Because we've both been down that road and we see where it leads. And now you're going to change our course by messing with Dad's tools? To start? You're both so petty. Have to get it from somewhere. I'm not going to do it and neither should you. Relax, Bobby. There's nothing you can get fired from this time. That's a low low. You're right. Now help me find a key. I'm not going to do that. Sorry about yesterday, Mr. Fist. I had detention again. Please let me in. I won't leave until CCTV come in. <laughs> Do you 
want to paint the signs? Yeah. <laughs> you sound like Bobby when he was your age. I don't like him. I don't think he likes you either. Hello, James. How's it going, Mr. Fist? I've had some people call about some leaks. You offer some grunt work? Sure thing, Mr. Fist. <laughs> 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 My folks want to make sure I give you this. What is it? It's a card. What for? Well, for Mrs. Fist. Since they couldn't make it to the funeral and all, they uh, asked me to give this to you. Thank you, James. Are you going to open it? <laughs> I'll open it one more time. My folks said to make sure you open it. Tell your parents I said thank you. There isn't much you can do about it. I know. I'm going to find a place for this card. Okay. You're still here? Yes. Why? Mr. Fist had to go inside. You're too old for a babysitter. Mr. Fist is my boss, not my babysitter. <laughs> How often do you have to say that? storage room in the toolbox. You should get those back. The storage room used to be my room. Do you know what's in there? I do not. I want to find out. You turned it into a storage room when I went off to college. Are you going to college? I don't want to. <laughs> You'll change your mind. I don't regret going. I, I like it here. I want to paint the signs. But he doesn't let you get. Not yet. Well, what good are you going to be if you don't get any practice? I'll get practice when I'm ready. I bet you're ready. Why did you bring those keys in here? Are you going to tell on me? Are you going to unlock the paint? I don't know what people 
get to those leads today. But I need to get done, Mr. Fisher. I know. I can get them done. I can help. Not today, James. Am I fired? We'll see how things go. Just don't fire me. We'll see. How am I going to get home? You're going to call your mother and she's going to pick you up. I want her to know. <laughs> it's a great color for the room. Lily breaks up all of the gray. <laughs> she didn't want the paint and she made me do it. Fess up! She didn't make you do anything. She doesn't have any paint on her hands. Do not blame her. Clean this up and go call your mother. I'll see you tomorrow after school. We'll clean the rest of this up. You're not going to fire me? No. Thank you. Go. You hit him. I did. Doesn't get you what he wants. I know. You never got mom what she wanted. I know. And why'd you hit him? I don't know. It was my fault. He spilled the paint. I was just in my room. It's exactly how it was when I left. I know. Your mom never found that key. How are you today? That's good. I'm, I'm good. Let's get this started, shall we? I'm excited to start working for you. Well, I think that puts us off on the right footing. I, uh, I sent you my resume. Yes, a lot of different experience in a lot of different fields. If it's a job, I've probably done it. I know it's worrying that I seem to switch between jobs so much. It's health reasons. I've been sick on and off again for the past couple of years, and it's interfered with the kind of work you need to be in the office to do. It's why I came home, actually. I'm, I'm recovering, I think. I'm ready to get back out there. I just don't think office work is the work for me with my health reasons and all that. I understand that this position can be done from anywhere. Yes, I've done sales before. Mm -hmm. There's only so much room on one resume. And it's mostly over the phone, correct? Excellent. Of course, I'll be able to meet with you in person, Mr. Bateman. I wouldn't expect anything different. Let's talk about the pay. I was hoping for a little bit more. I can work with that. I'm, I'm really excited to be working with you, Mr. Bacon. When would you like to meet and finalize all the paperwork? I'm free this weekend. I don't see why that wouldn't work out. Megan would be happy to see you, I'm sure. And you're bringing your kid. No, that, that shouldn't be a problem either. I'll talk to you later, Mr. Bateman. He invited 
it himself. Then why'd you say yes? Because I need this. This could be how I get out of this town for good. Why can't you go to him? Because it would ruin it for me. We'll show him the town. He's probably been wondering about the small town you came from since your first date. We'll show him everything it has to offer. That's not much. Then it won't last long. Then he'll go home. What about me? What about you? I kind of vowed never to see him again. I was kind of hoping that that would work out. You owe me, Megan. I don't owe you this. Consider all your past debts repaid. <laughs> it's not worth it. You don't get a choice in the matter, Megan. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't get a choice in this. I want a choice in this. We're still married, me and Tom, and I would like to say if my legally wed husband gets to come into this house and give my brother an interview, that's what I'm angry about, that I don't get a choice in the matter. He's excited to see you. He's lying. Why would he lie to me? Hell if I know. Do this, please, for me. Why? Because you stayed on my futon for a month after the last time. That's an over-exaggeration. And you didn't even tell me why. You didn't need to know. I do know. You don't. I have a pretty good guess. Chances are you're wrong. Does it bother you that I'm taking a job with your husband? No. Good for you. Then why are you acting like this? Because I don't want to see him again. He's bringing Maddie. Yes. Don't you want to see her again? Not particularly. You don't want to see your own daughter. I've already answered that question. Does Dad know? Know what? You know what? I don't know what Dad knows. Jesus Christ, you're just like him. I know. Does Dad know that he's a grandpa? I'm sure he'll be happy to find out. You never told him? Well, I haven't told him anything in 11 years, so I may have left that out too. Christ, man. And I'm looking forward to that conversation, so thank you for inviting them over. I didn't have a choice. You were just going to leave your husband and your daughter. I What's best for them? By running away without saying a word? Yeah, that was the plan, but now he's coming here and I don't have much of a plan. Then help me! Why? What else are you gonna do? Where's Dad? Out with James? I saw him hit James. Did it surprise you? Coming from Dad, yeah. Well, someone had to pick up the slack now the bomb's gone. That's not healthy. I know, but what are we gonna do about it? Shouldn't we try and stop it? What happens between Dad and James is between them. Do you hate James? A little. <laughs> I do too. Why does it matter? I feel like he's trying to replace us. James can have the sign painting job. After that fiasco, it'll be a while before he's allowed me to paint again. Why do you care anyway? You've been gone for so long. I care about you. Don't worry about me. I'm all set. Or I will be. If you help me land this job. How do you want me to do that? Be nice to him. Am I ever anything else? And I won't leave you two alone together. That's for the best. And for God's sake, be a mother to your kid. I've never been any good at that. You learn from the best. A long list of what not to do. Just don't do those things. I hate that you're making me do this. I know. Are you sure there's no other way? Would I even ask if there was? You told Dad you could work from anywhere. And I can. It's phone calls, mostly. He wants you here with him. That's a conversation I'll have with him when I need to. Can he take it? He's tough. I'm sure he could. He hasn't talked about Mom at all? He has. Yeah, like she's still alive. You know. Doesn't that worry you? I'm worried about other things right now. And his hand is still shaking? It's small. It'll get worse. He's got time. He needs someone here with him. James is here. Yeah, that's really working out for James. But he's here and he doesn't want to leave. He saved my room. He turned it into storage. No, he didn't. He saved it and he hid the key from Mom. Why haven't you moved back in? I'm not the same person I was when I lived there. So? So I don't know if I can go back and relive it all every time I wake up and leave the room in the morning. It's a bed. So is the one downstairs. 
Why don't you go back to being dad's assistant? Then what was the point of everything I've done since I left home? Why did I go through all that shit just to start back on square one? I guess we're both still stuck here. Yeah. Do you still have the race car bed in your room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you still sleep on it? I do. Uh, guess the past isn't all that bad. You better think of the good things so with giving your husband a tour. Well, we can't take him out for breakfast. We'll strike that off the list. But we could show him the stoplight. Yeah, and there's the bakery. But we shouldn't get him anything from there, as I recall. No, it's gotten worse. No way. The owner's on her fourth husband. What happened to Jeff? Oh, you didn't hear it. He passed. She's been through three more since then? <laughs> They've all tried to outlive her and inherit the business, but uh, she's caught on to all of them. Uh, <laughs> and this latest guy? All I know is that he worships the Norse gods and burns the donuts. Are you serious? Damn serious. One place in town, not owned by Jim Reynolds. His kid was the husband before this last one. Mm -hmm. Skip the bakery. Uh, that leaves the hardware store. The one with the soda? They sell soda now? They have to sell something to people besides Dad. We'll buy Tom and Maddie a soda. <laughs> Is there anything left? Swimming pool is still around? No, it closed down. Why? It started the rust. It's still there, it's just empty. A little tetanus, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> it was rusty when we were kids. Not like it is now. I guess I haven't been out much since I came here. Do you want to go now? Have our practice run the tour of the town? I don't see why not. We'll have to test out the different sodas anyway. Oh, 
You get to see your mom soon. I don't want to. Don't be silly. She's been quiet ever since Megan left. Please forgive her shyness. You're Megan's husband? Yes, I am. She, she doesn't want to see you. Either. I'm sure she's just saying. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. <laughs> hey guys, want like something to drink? <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Uh, men. <laughs> juice. Do you have any juice, James? It's orange and apple. <laughs> That's fine, Bobby can work from here if he gets the job. If, he'll probably get the job. <laughs> can I have more juice? Sure thing. And do you know when they'll be back? No idea. They weren't here when we got back. I hope they're gone for a while. Uh, I could call them. Oh, there's no need. I'm sure they'll be back soon. You should push Bobby to work from here. Why? This is just lonely. I'm sure you can keep him company. I'll be going off to school in a few years. That's good. Get out of this town. You'll be happy. <laughs> we'll see. Do you like Mr. Fitz? For the most part. I don't really know. I know that he didn't like that I married Megan somehow. He doesn't really talk about it. You should get out of this town. I'm upset now. My mom won't let me stay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bain. Please, call me Thomas. I'm sorry, I'm late, Thomas. No, we're early. We thought we'd surprise everyone. Well, me and Megan just got done planning a tour of the town for you and Maddie. Everything should still be open if you want to go now. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, and me and Maddie are a little tired from the drive. Yeah, that's fine, we can go later. Megan volunteered to help me a tour guide. That's very nice. I know. Megan. Thanks. You haven't said hi to Maddie yet. I'm getting to that. Is there something you have to tell us? Not to you. I think you owe us both an apology. Maybe later. When would you like to do the interview? In a little bit, Bobby. I'd like to talk to my wife now. I'll go get ready. It sounds like a plan to me. James, you're still here. Uh, you're right. <laughs> I want him to stay. No, that's okay, Maddie. I have to talk to Mr. Fisk about something anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. I was hoping it would be longer. What? Maddie must have told you. She's barely talked since you left. But I must be a pretty bad influence. You didn't even say goodbye. I didn't think you'd want to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. I didn't think I deserved to say it. What did you do? 
I don't know. Then it was me. What did I do? It wasn't you. If it was me, please tell me so I can stop working. I still love you, Thomas, but you need to move on. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Can we not do this in front of the honey? I need her here for me. She shouldn't have to deal with this. We can explain it all to her later. She's been there for me for the past few months. You haven't. I've hurt her enough. I don't want to hurt her again. I'm going to ask for a divorce. It's kind of hoping that would just happen. It doesn't work like that. I know. Have you been staying here long? No. Where? Friends and couches. How did you end up here? Ran out of friends and couches. People kept asking me what happened. Couldn't tell them. Did you tell anyone? No. You're the only one who knows. Maddie knows. She won't tell me. She takes after me. I love you. I want us to be a family. I don't think we can. Can you pretend? For me. For Maddie. No. You won't even try. I'm not putting her through that. She's young. She'll bounce back. I never did. From what? I just talked to Maddie. Alone. Dad. Whatever you have to say in front of her, you can say in front of me. Not this time. I'm not leaving. You'll have to. Did you just ruin my chances of landing this job? 
<laughs> oh God, I hope so. Jesus Christ, you turned out just like Mom. Is there anything after this damn house, or am I already in hell? What's wrong with you? You're right. If this were hell, Mom would be here too. God damn it, can't you fight back? Can't you defend yourself? There's not much left to defend. Good luck on your interview. I'm gonna need it. What about the interview? There was never a job, Bobby. No more secrets.
Is that building still open? I don't think so. Someone else snatched it up. We'll just have to wait for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep now. Thank you for visiting me. No problem, Dad. I don't want to see anything like this. Me either. You're sticking around. Mom and my family had a picture. I gotta start from somewhere. You? My last opportunity dried up. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna need a new bed frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, James, Dad was right about you. You weren't ready to paint the signs. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he appreciates having you around a lot when you're not in detention. Shut up. <laughs> you think you're gonna be okay, Megan? I don't think I have anything left stuck to my chest. Do you think you'll ever see Maddie again? Maybe. Someday when she's older. I hope so. Me too. It's gonna be weird. It's been weird. <laughs> and now we're a couple of adults moving back home. Looks like I'm gonna have to explain to everyone where I've been the past 11 years. Better start working on your story now. I'll just leave some of the details out. Do you think he wants anything? He'll let you know if he does. No, he won't. You know, Dad. You're right. <laughs> Let's have him get some rest. We have the rest of our lives to talk about what comes next. You're right. <laughs> Let's go get groceries. I don't think Dad's gonna want pizza for his homecoming. <laughs> <laughs>